The most distant human-made object is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has managed to reach interstellar space and continues its remarkable journey. Imagine launching a spacecraft 45 years ago, expecting it to last only a few years, yet it is still active in exploring regions far beyond its original design. This is the incredible reality of a bold NASA mission that has redefined space exploration and expanded the limits of human achievement. But there's something even more fascinating about this brave spacecraft. Not only is it billions of miles from its launch point, it continues to send valuable data back to Earth. Even more astonishing, it does so using technology that is older than a cassette player, proving just how durable and innovative the mission was. And as if that wasn't enough, this spacecraft launched in 1977 has recently made a discovery that has shaken the scientific community and captured the attention of the world. What could this amazing find in the far reaches of space be, and what does it mean for us here on Earth? The story takes us back to a key moment in history when two of the most ambitious space missions ever launched ushered in a new era of exploration. Thanks to the brilliant mind of Gary Flandro of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a rare planetary alignment was identified that made this possible. Using nothing more than a pencil and a 20th century engineering tool, Flandro made a startling discovery in the late 1970s. The four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would align in a unique cosmic configuration, creating a sort of celestial necklace with Earth. This alignment would allow a spacecraft to use the gravity of each planet like an invisible rope, slingshotting it forward to gain speed. Thanks to these gravitational assists, a journey that would normally take 30 years to reach Neptune could be cut down to just 12 years. However, there was one major catch. This planetary alignment occurred only once every 176 years. Faced with such a rare and fleeting opportunity, NASA acted quickly and planned something extraordinary to take full advantage of it. In the summer of 1977, just 15 days apart, NASA launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, aimed at this cosmic alignment. At the time, no one could have predicted the incredible records these twin explorers would eventually break in the history of spaceflight. Yet, decades later, they continue to operate, astonishing scientists and the public alike. More than 45 years after their launch, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still functioning and sending back valuable information from the very edges of our solar system. These probes have traveled far beyond what was first imagined, becoming the most distant spacecraft in history. What makes this even more impressive is that their original mission was expected to last only four years. However, these interstellar pioneers had many surprises in store for humanity at the start of their epic journeys. They gave us the first incredible close-up images of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, revealing worlds more active and dynamic than anyone had anticipated. The discovery of volcanic activity and vast ice fields forever changed our understanding of these distant corners of the solar system. Voyager 2, in particular, achieved even greater milestones by becoming the first spacecraft to approach Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. To this day, it remains the only probe to have visited those planets, surprising scientists with astonishing discoveries in previously unexplored regions. Together, the Voyagers became pioneers of interplanetary exploration. Now more than 14 billion kilometers from Earth, these Volkswagen Beetle-sized probes have defied every expectation and continue to expand the boundaries of human knowledge. Their journey began with a daring gravity-assisted maneuver around Venus, something no spacecraft had ever attempted before. This marked them as true pioneers of space navigation. To reach Jupiter, the spacecraft had to travel ten times the distance between Earth and Mercury, forcing them to cross the dangerous asteroid belt. This feat had only been attempted by Pioneer 10 and 11 before them, but the Voyagers managed it with incredible success. Yet, the challenges of their journey did not end there, as even greater obstacles awaited them. With just 69 kilobytes of memory, less than a fraction of what a modern smartphone holds, the onboard computers had to manage complex tasks independently. 
Data collected by Voyager's instruments was stored on eight-track tape recorders, a technology considered primitive today. That data was then transmitted back to Earth using a transmitter powered by only about 23 watts, the same as a household light bulb. The spacecraft were each equipped with a 12-foot diameter satellite dish to facilitate communications with Earth. Using radio signals traveling at the speed of light, they sent and received commands from across the vastness of space. However, as they drifted farther away, increasing by three or four light seconds each day, communication became an enormous challenge. Despite these obstacles, the Voyagers continued to astonish astronomers with unexpected discoveries in the interstellar void. Their journey has rewritten humanity's understanding of the cosmos and fundamentally altered our perception of the universe. Beyond our solar system lies the enigmatic Oort Cloud, a massive sphere of icy objects that still beckons in the distance. Although the Voyagers are slowly making their way toward that distant realm, their entry into interstellar space officially began when they crossed the Heliopons. This boundary separates our solar system from the interstellar medium, the vast region between stars. Initially, scientists estimated that this milestone lay about 50 astronomical units away from Earth. When the probes approached this distance, funding was extended to continue monitoring them, anticipating the historic crossing. However, when Voyager crossed the heliopause, scientists did not detect an immediate, dramatic change in the environment. This puzzled researchers, as they expected a sudden increase in cosmic rays and changes in the magnetic field. High-energy cosmic rays, usually ejected by supernovae and other powerful phenomena, were expected to flood in past the heliosphere. Instead, most were still blocked by the Sun's magnetic shield, which protects the solar system from external radiation. Meanwhile, Voyager's instruments recorded only subtle changes in the prevailing magnetic field. Finally, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 officially crossed the heliopause and transmitted fascinating data. The instruments confirmed the predicted increase in plasma density but showed no significant change in magnetic fields. This was surprising, since scientists expected the solar field and interstellar field to be oriented differently. This puzzling result generated intense debate within the scientific community. If the magnetic field did not change as expected, what was this telling us about the nature of the interstellar medium? Voyager 1 had offered humanity its first direct glimpse into this new region, yet it raised more questions than it answered. One theory suggested that the interstellar magnetic field might align more smoothly with the solar magnetic field than previously thought. Instead of a sharp cutoff, the boundary could be a gradual transition zone. This implied that the forces shaping our cosmic neighborhood are far more complex and interconnected than imagined. The data also revealed a noticeable increase in high-energy cosmic ray particles from outside the solar system. This confirmed that Voyager 1 had indeed left the protective bubble of the Sun's heliosphere. However, the mystery remained, how far was the probe from a region completely dominated by the interstellar medium? Some scientists speculated that a more extensive transition zone existed, where the Sun's influence still interacted subtly with interstellar forces. Others proposed that the heliopause was not a fixed, rigid boundary at all, but a fuzzy, border shifting with solar cycles and interstellar pressures. Voyager 1's discoveries forced experts to rethink long-held assumptions. As the probe continued its journey beyond the heliopause, it transmitted data that defied many theoretical models. Plasma density readings revealed unexpected fluctuations, proving that interstellar space is far from a uniform vacuum. Instead, it appeared to be made up of diverse regions with distinct densities, temperatures, and energy levels. These findings shocked researchers, who had long assumed the interstellar medium was shaped into relative uniformity over billions of years. Voyager 1's instruments instead showed stark shifts within just a single week of observations. The spacecraft was navigating through plasma clouds, each with dramatically different properties. 
Further study revealed that these plasma clouds were likely remnants of ancient supernova explosions. This suggested that the interstellar medium carries the imprints of violent stellar events from millions of years ago. Each plasma pocket may hold valuable clues about the turbulent history and evolution of our galaxy. Voyager's journey into this vast frontier has reshaped how humanity views the cosmos. What was once imagined as an endless, empty expanse is now revealed to be alive with hidden structure and dynamic interactions. The spacecraft continues to raise profound questions about the universe we inhabit. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Together, we will keep exploring the mysteries of space, inspired by the remarkable legacy of the Voyager missions.